flowers. You're gonna take your stock and you've got it nice and ready there. And then you're gonna take your strainer and you're going to strain out enough soft stock. Right now we are going to make Thai noodle soup or ramen with our mushroom stock. We want to fill up the pan with this. Mushrooms are a wonderful source of many nutrients. They're a fungus and they actually have about 30% of your daily value of selenium. Selenium is a very important nutrient for the antioxidant status. The antioxidant status of your cells is regulated by glutathione. Glutathione it is a very important compound in your body responsible for very many important processes such as antioxidant status. Just by virtue of having an aerobic metabolism, your body generates free radicals or hydrogen peroxide and the free radicals on the oxygen. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna turn this to a boil. We're gonna add in some cabbage. And we're also gonna slice up some shiitake mushrooms. And we're gonna put those in there. And then I've got these, we'll add some of these fresh shiitake, these baby shiitake mushrooms. A few of those. We're gonna add some oyster mushrooms. And then I'm gonna first put in my, my rice noodles to get those cooking. Those will just take a few minutes because I'm ready to eat now. And mushrooms. You can cook them for a long time or a little time, but I'm ready to eat, so I'm just going to put these in here. Rice is a very important source of amino acid methionine and cysteine. Cysteine comes from methionine, and it's regulated by transsulfuration and trans transmethylation. Transmethylation requires several nutrients that we are going to have in our whole dinner here, namely B12, which you can get on the mushrooms, and tempeh, and in our miso, and in the eggs, and a choline we'll get from the yolks of the eggs. We need choline, folate, and B6. B6 and folate we will get from the tempeh and from the tofu. Folate is generally high in beans. Rice, a lot of people don't like to eat rice or grains, but really I think eating rice or um, grains is really important because cysteine is a very important molecule in your body for regulating glutathione. Like I said, that the glutathione and is regulated by two different factors, one of which is the availability of cysteine. The availability of cysteine is regulated by transsulfuration and transmethylation and those two factors go back and forth and we're not going to go any further into the biochemistry besides that. Um, glutathione which requires cysteine is also very important for maintaining the thiol status of your of your body. Thiols are essentially a disulfide and Proteins need the disulfide to regulate their structure, kind of the way a car needs a wheel. The disulfide's not, it's not the gas, but it is a structural component that is important for the proteins in your body. And proteins are really like little machines. People always think muscle for proteins and how I look and I look good on the outside, but really more important aspect of health is your internal health and you need to have internally your body functioning properly and one way to do this is by having the right amino acids namely cysteine to regulate glutathione levels in your cells so those that glutathione can go and help get those disulfide bonds on your amino acids aka machines in your body and the thiols are kind of like the wheels of a car they're structural, they requ are required for driving, but they're not the gas that makes it go. I'm gonna slice up some of these things. Glutathione also helps regulate a lot of cellular processes, DNA replication and repair. 
which is, and it also regulates, and that ties into um, replication of cells, and glutathione is necessary to regulate that. When replication goes wrong or goes crazy, and you don't get the right cell apoptosis or too much cell growth, that can lead to cancer. Whoops, lost one down there. So I'm bringing my water to a void. I have another pan over here with water. And in that pan, once it comes to a boil, I'm just gonna leave, put my eggs in there and cook it for four minutes and not quite at a boil. There we go. I'm gonna cook that for four minutes and then I will take it off and drain the water and let it sit until the rest of this is ready. I'm gonna add some of these mushrooms in and I'm just gonna add enough for really kind of what I wanna eat maybe today and tomorrow I'm making about two servings here. You can put more or less as you like. Glutathione is also one of the key antioxidants in your body, and antiox the antioxidant aspect of glutathione needs the, the nutrient selenium to work. Selenium is in the, the mushrooms, and not a lot of foods have much selenium. Um, Brazil nuts have a lot of selenium, you can get your daily value of selenium by eating one to two Brazil nuts, and you can have several servings of mushrooms. I try to eat mushrooms several times a week for that purpose. I'm just gonna grate. You can put as much or as little ginger. I like it really nice and spicy. Ginger is also a very potent antioxidant and helps lower inflammation. Um, the amount of inflammation in your body a lot of times directly correlates to the ability of your body's antioxidant systems to function. Glutathione also helps your body get out electrophiles, which a lot of times are, act as free radicals, and glutathione cleans out xenobiotics, as part, which are electrophiles, and also a lot of drugs and pharmaceuticals tend to act as electrophiles in the body, and you need the right amount of glutathione to regulate it. And then after a few minutes, we can add in our tempeh, and we'll let that cook. And we're going to let that simmer for about 10 minutes, and then we will add our cabbage in and let the cabbage simmer for two minutes. And at the end, to serve it, I have some red miso, another source of B12 in the bacteria here. And it's a wonderful probiotic, and we'll add this into the bowl after it's done cooking. Also gonna add in my tofu here that's been soaked in a little bit of coconut aminos. You could also use tamari. After seven minutes, I'm going to go ahead and add the cabbage. I like my cabbage a little crisp. Cook it longer if you like. Add that in. Push it down. A little bit more. We've got a lot of mushrooms, a little bit of noodles. Cabbage is a cruciferous green, which adds sulfur. We talked about disulfide earlier. Cabbage adds sulfur compounds, which are very important for the glutathione pathway for antioxidant status. Add that in. Yum! I even add, I added some beautiful chanterelle mushrooms in there as well. Cover that up. So there's multiple ways to do this. You can cook the ramen separately in a bowl of water and then drain it and rinse it. Or I like to just, right before I'm about to eat it, put the ramen in there and cook it for four minutes. And then I will add the rank, um, miso and cilantro on top to serve. Thanks for joining me on, <laughs> thanks for joining me on Smart Food Nutrition to make mushroom ramen.